guys, it's Brother D back with another video. Uh, another video showing another pickup. Another black box. Full Brandon BHM. Dropped uh, maybe two weeks ago. This time it's the beloved Kobe. You guys know I'm a Kobe guy. So it's time to show you guys the Kobe BHM. Kobe's guys, if you guys haven't gotten a pair, these Kobe's fit true to size. Um, haven't gotten these on court, but I'm believing in them from the very beginning that they're going to be performance monsters. This particular pair is absolutely gorgeous. A lot of people aren't fans. They don't like the blue front. Um, I guess they wanted an all multicolored fly knit. I'm not sure what they wanted, man. Some people are greedy. You got half multicolored, half blue. I'm a blue guy. Um, navy blue, I love. Navy blue probably wouldn't have worked with this too great. So I'm appreciative of the Royal. Uh, let's get into it. The white soles. Um, definitely a clean look. Could be too clean of a look. I don't know what they could have went with, but I've seen people complain about the all white sole. I, I don't recommend or have uh alternative option that Nike could have used so um I love this particular pair between this pair and the Kyrie I'm definitely torn both of them are great in their own right also we still have uh the suture marks on this side no sign I know a lot of Kobe's if you've seen a lot if you follow my Instagram B R O T H A underscore D a lot of the uh shoes that will be having release dates, I guess, minus the special pairs or maybe just this pair. We'll have some type of uh, figure or symbol on this side. This one doesn't happen to have one. I'm not sure exactly why, but you do have a different Kobe sign right here. It's like a uh, target mark. You guys can see that right there. And it's on both, both shoes. So you guys can see that. White checks. I mean, this is a clean shoe, man. Definitely can't complain. Another thing that's pretty cool about this particular pair, as you guys all know, on the Kobe 11, they went back and you can take the soles out again on them. The BHM pair has, on both of them, I don't want to take both out, the power of one, if you guys can see that, the power of one BHM. BHM inspired, so I'm gonna put this back in there. It did up the price. Kobe's do retail at two hundred for the BHM. They did uh, give you. They did add twenty dollars. So for twenty dollars, you got glittery laces, and you got these um, these metal. I don't. I don't think they're metal. They're like plastic tips. You got extra hardened plastic tips, and then you got multicolored fly knit. You got a lace lock. I'm not sure if they're on the other ones. I don't remember. And that's pretty much it. So I don't know if it justifies an extra $20. I know some people don't like it. Um, but, I mean, it did come out. If you like Kobe, if you support him, if you like him, you got him. If not, you wait it. Not sure if they're going to stick around or if they have stuck around for a discount. But um, they're definitely well worth it if you guys don't mind paying an extra $20. And that's pretty much it, man. This is the Kobe 11 Black History Month BHM. Dropped on Martin Luther King Day, if I'm not mistaken, just like the other pat, uh, other other um, athletes that had a shoe, Kyrie, LeBron, and Kevin Durant. I mean, these things are pretty clean. I'm gonna wear mine soon. I'm definitely gonna try to get my Kobe Elevens on the court. A particular pair, maybe not this particular pair, but a particular pair. I'm gonna get on court as soon as possible. And once I do, I'll give you guys the verdict. And that's it, guys. I'll see you guys next time. You guys take care. You guys be chill. If you like this video, please press like. Please leave a comment. Help me get better. Help me get better to give you guys better content. Uh, please share. Tell your friends. Tell your parents. Tell your family. And I'll see you guys next time. You guys take care. Follow me on Instagram again. B-R-O-T-H-A underscore D. I'll see you guys next time. You guys be chill. Peace.